I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank. This is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. No matter what your tank personality, a protein skimmer is on my list of must-have items for your saltwater tank. Now, why do I say that? Well, a protein skimmer will pull out large organic particles out of your tank. And a protein skimmer is a barometer for me for how my tank is doing. For example, if all of a sudden I start getting a lot of skimmate, I'm gonna say, well, maybe something's dead or dying or decaying, or I know I have a lot of excess bio load, maybe excess nutrients in the tank. So I can look at that skimmer, give me a hint of what's going on in the tank, as well as help keep my tank look great. So when it came time to pick a protein skimmer for my 235 gallon tank, I wanted to do things a little differently. On my tank, I went with a recirculating skimmer, specifically, which is the Hydor Performer 2005 model. Now what is a recirculating skimmer and how is it different than most skimmers? Most protein skimmers have one pump that pulls in air and it pulls in water to give you that air-water combo, give you that protein skimming action. With a recirculating skimmer like mine, you've got one pump to feed the skimmer water, another pump that makes an air recirculate the water inside of the skimmer body. Now, due to its design, recirculating skimmers have some advantages and one potential disadvantage as well. The first advantage of a recirculating skimmer is that it can be run inside or outside your sump. That means it can be run internally or externally. It's up to you. Also, recirculating skimmers have increased contact time in the water with the bubbles inside of the skimmer body due to its recirculating design. That means it's gonna get better skimmate due to this increased reaction time. And lastly, recirculating skimmers don't have any water depth requirements. Most protein skimmers are made to run in optimal depths of water. If you look in the instructions, it'll say eight to 10 inches of water or six to eight inches of water. And it's very important that you get that skimmer operating in the right amount of water. This can be a problem when you go to look at your sump. Let's say the skimmer is made to run in eight inches of water and your skimmer box is 10 inches deep. That means you have to raise that skimmer up two inches to get it in the optimal water depth. Requires a little bit more effort and if you have a short stand and a tall skimmer,